Pasar y, będzie zajmował się przede wszystkim strategią sportową pierwszej drużyny, czyli typowy dyrektor sportowy, plus y, tworzenie, y, stworzenie i rozwój i pracę działu scoutingu oraz y, stworzenie projektu y, budowy tej przysłowiowej Akademii Piłkarskiej w Czy to będzie nazwa Akademia Piłkarska, czy będzie stworzenie nowego systemu szkolenia, to jest kwestia tylko nazwy. W razie Stan Wales z jego doświadczeniem i z jego wiedzą będzie odpowiadał za te trzy jakby sektory klubu. So I was looking for a new job, a new adventure and then I met Mr. Bazalai. I had a very good conversation with him and he made me very uh, enthusiastic about uh, the Polish football and about uh, the project with uh, Richard Kakao. Um, I was pretty uh, updated with the Polish football. Uh, I, for example, I saw uh, the club last season uh, playing three times. Um, but I knew that uh, Vizak Kakao was, was uh, is a big club. So I think over the last de the last decades they won six or seven titles. So in the past they did some very good jobs, I think. And what I understood and what I see is that uh, the Polish football is developing and uh, well, more better facilities. I think they are building right now 10 new stadiums. So um, I think even more money income from the TV rights. So it's a growing market and. Uh, I think it's a nice, I, I see it as a, as a beautiful challenge. But without any scouts, I cannot work. Without, without uh, the players, uh, the coach can't be successful. Without, uh, without uh, the, the kid man, uh, we don't have the clean shirt. So it should be, what for me is very important, that we work and cooperate as one family. Eh? Then, uh, and uh, then I hope and expect that we can uh, be successful as, as Kraka was last decade. Kilka krajów zachodu było zainteresowanie o moim poszukiwaniu trenera. Były to Włochy, były to Niemcy, była Hiszpania, była Holandia. Nie ma co tu ukrywać. I, i uważamy szkołę holenderską za jedną z najlepszych. Zawsze mi imponował model zarządzania sportowego w klubach holenderskiego. I, i gdy, gdy usłyszałem o takiej możliwości, że możemy rozmawiać na temat e, trenera Maskanta, po rozmowie z nim stwierdziłem, stwierdziliśmy razem ze Stanem, że to będzie osoba właściwa na tym miejscu. Był tylko jeden problem, który zachwiał moją, moją pewność co do jego osoby, że po raz pierwszy zatrudniam człowieka, który jest wyższy ode mnie. Także to był tylko ten jeden problem. Ale przypomniałem sobie, że po może już podpisałem wyższego ode mnie, także już to dziewictwo straciłem, który zatrudniam. Poważnie rzecz biorąc, jeszcze raz witam serdecznie pana trenera Maskampa, który jest do Państwa dyspozycji. Dziękuję, Bogdan. First of all. Dzień dobry. Nie mówię o polsku jeszcze, but I will be trying to speak Polish soon, uh, as soon as I can. Uh, of course, it's a difficult language, so I hope you don't mind that I will do the press conference in English so far. I'm very happy to be here. It has been uh, a fast game the last week. Uh, we had several talks about Wisla, about the goals of the club, which are very clear. Uh, I will be working with the same people that are already here at Wisla. I put my trust in them, and, uh, especially because they know the team best at the moment. Uh, what convinced me, and uh, what Poppen convinced me to come here was, he mentioned uh, the name of the club. That was enough for me. That's, that's not to be answered in, uh, in one quick comment. So we need to, uh, I've also written a book about mental coaching. Uh, so yes, when it needs to be done, I'm close to the players, but I'm also uh, the boss when it comes to it. So yeah, like every coach in, uh, in the world, there needs to be, uh, you need to be the boss at some times. Sometimes you need to be uh, you need to be their friend. To, to be fair, of course we know each other uh, from Holland, but we never worked together. And, and the last time I've seen Stan was like I think five years ago uh, when he was at PSV. 
Uh, it's always easy to communicate in your own language, but I don't think it's about languages uh, in these types of jobs, it's about quality. And uh, Stan has proven that he's got a lot of quality in his, uh, in his job. I speak English, as you probably know now. Uh, I'm fluent in German as well, so uh, uh, that's most of the team I've, uh, I've looked at it. And seven, eight, nine players can, can understand English. Uh, there are some players that only speak Polish, and that's why I'm, uh, I'm already taking Polish lessons to see if I can, uh, can close that gap with, uh, with the communication. I also do speak a little bit of Spanish and understand a little bit of Spanish, so that makes it easier for me to, to work. But then again, uh, football, as you all know, is, uh, is an international language. Uh, of course, I already talked to him, spoken to him. Uh, he was very positive about this one. You, uh, you work with, uh, with quite a lot of the players, and uh, yes, uh, his knowledge is, uh, is of course important to me. Well, of course, I knew it was not going to be easy, uh, and everybody could have done it. Uh, if one of the, the clubs in the Polish league can give the boost, then it's, uh, then it's Wisma. And that's why I think it's good that, uh, that the club looked abroad, not just only in Poland, but also with international players that can improve the Polish football and bring it to a higher level.